Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing, swatching and playing with the Androgyny palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've had this guy for um, almost a month now and I've played with all of the colors and I think they are beautiful, they swatch beautifully, and they blend out perfectly and they're just so, so pigmented and pretty. If you want to see how I created this look and how this beauty is swatching, then make sure to keep on watching. So as you can see, I have one eye done, so let's start and play with the other one. I'm gonna pick up a very fluffy brush and I'm gonna put all over my eyelid the shade Safe Word. That's the lightest shade in this palette. It's a very beautiful transition shade, by the way. But today, it will serve us as a base color. Looking in the monitor right now, I want to explain something about my eyes and why sometimes it looks unblended and weird on the camera. Do you see, I just applied one shade that you can not even actually see that much, but the shape of my eye creates a shade that looks like it's... I have something there that's unblended, but I have basically nothing. So please keep that in mind for future videos and tutorials. Now I'm gonna pick up my Morphe E23 and I'm gonna go with military right in the crease but just lightly you won't be able to even see this color but we're giving it a bit of green undertone. Now with a short dense brush I am going to pick up poison and I'm gonna start uh, building it all over my eyelid. It's so pigmented, by the way. But it's very hard to work with this, these types of colors. I'm going back and forth with picking up shadow and placing it on top to build up the intensity because it's very hard to have um, equal pigmentation all over the lid with this shade. I think it would be great to go with a darker color underneath this as a base, maybe then it wouldn't look as patchy. And now that we've applied it, I'm going to blend it blend the edges a little bit I don't know if you can see but because I blended the edges a little bit of the pigmentation is gone off my eyelid so I am going to go back and place some on top with the same brush I am picking up swallow and I'm gonna place it into my inner corner and outer corner to create definition to the eye I am picking up Dominatrix and placing it on the edge of the blues and turquoise and defining and blending everything together. But I'm not blending it very high up because then it will look very messy. Messy. And I'm going to take my time to blend.
on a clean fluffy brush I am going to pick up safe word again just to blend out the edges even more now I am going to clean up under my eyes all the bake and the fallout it caught I am going to be taking a bit of I wanted to say baking powder but what I actually meant was loose powder and go and carve out this eye on a very flat and short dense brush I am going to pick up fetish and I'm gonna go on my lower lash line now I'm gonna blend that And I'm gonna pick up Androgyny and put it on the edge of that burgundy. I'm gonna pick up Dominatrix and go right on the lower lash line to make it more smoky. Now I'm gonna pick up Frosting and pop it into my inner corner by the way this is so pretty and shiny and pretty and shiny and under my brow bone and now i'm gonna pop some mascara on top and lashes and be right back okay guys so i finished my eye and i changed my lip added some lashes and now I am going to so show you some swatches of this beautiful palette Frosting Safe Word Charm Deja Vu Dominatrix Androgyny Fetish Military Poison Even swatching it you can see that this is the most problematic of them all Swallow And the same with Swallow Okay guys, so this is all for today I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope I helped you in deciding if you need this in your life or not. I do think this is a really unique palette and I think it's really beautiful and Jeffrey did a great job and for the price point you get a lot of product. I mean these pens are insanely big and as I said before they are very pigmented and very blendable. You also get a really big mirror in here it's really sleek as well so I think it's really easy to travel with I already traveled with it and I had no problems with it and I think it's gorgeous just because it includes such unique shades that you don't really find in every and each palette it does have your uh, transition shade I do think it's a very beautiful transition shade and it will suit different skin tones it does have a very beautifully champagne goldy highlighting shade as well uh, it has your warm tones your very unique cool tones it has a beautiful dark brown and it's just overall a very beautiful and amazing palette I'm very happy that I got it okay guys so thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up so I know that you did. Go subscribe to my channel for new videos every week and hopefully I'm gonna see you in my next video. Okay guys, I love you. Bye!